Hello guys, Salman Naseem here. Welcome to third tutorial of Learn Animation series. We have already learned how to add keyframes. Today we will learn how, how these animations will stay with us once we duplicate these objects. To start, I'll just click the light and delete it and camera and delete the camera also. I'll select the cube, select the move tool from here and drag it over here. Select I and select location rotation scale that means it have all three properties location rotation and scale i'll drag my timeline little little bit up and goes to 100 frame and set my limitation to 100 i click the home button and change the location of our cube and click the i key and add the keyframe of location rotation scale that means on all all three properties to understand much more to understand much better way i'll go from there and add random color and add the floor to have better view shift a mesh plane s and 20. now if we look at the cube it is going like that but the problem is once we duplicate we it will stay on the same location for example, if I click Shift D to duplicate, there is another cube we have, but that cube stays on the same locations we have already put for the animation. To solve this issue, we we'll have to add the delta transform. The delta is actually work over the normal transforms. To add the delta transform, we we'll click here by going there, Object Properties and Delta Transforms, go there and we change the location of delta little bit so now if we check our uh, animation it is goes like that we'll add two cube more by clicking both and shift d to duplicate and change the y direction from there select this one and this one and change the y direction we have this y direction Control C while our mouse is at Y and copy the Y value. Now if we check, we have this one. To make it more interesting, we'll add another cube by clicking Shift D again to duplicate. And this time what we'll do, we'll add little bit scale on that. Make it 2 to all three values like X, Y and Z. So we'll have the big cube and uh, we have to, we'll change on a Z axis, value on Z axis. I will click one on an numpad to go to the front value and adjust the cube over there and three to the right view and adjust from there also. And adjust from Z value also. And we'll add, uh, we'll select the plane and make it little bit down something here and by clicking 7 because this, that is just a flow because that is just a flow and now if we'll see it will go like that finally last but not least we'll do sh shift D again now we'll make it one again this time we'll add Z with the rotation will make it 60 on all now check my animation by clicking on this button we'll have something like that to have more more better look to have more better look we'll hide this from there and that one also so now we'll have only cube and these things and i'll check this animation that is all for today's tutorial see you in the next video